What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. Today we're meeting two kids with literally the worst mom that I've ever seen on Dr. Phil yet. And trust me, we have met some truly terrible parents so far on this channel, so that's saying something. Real quick, if you enjoy my videos, drop a like as it takes only two seconds and really helps out the channel. And make sure to keep watching until the end of this one because, well, you won't believe the things that this mother has done. I don't even feel right calling her a mother, to be honest. She's more like a monster. Anyways, let's meet these two kids, shall we? Well, guys, it's, it's good to meet you, and I'm so sorry about what happened to you growing up. What? Well, sheesh, bro. Right in the intro, we have Dr. Phil just profusely apologizing to both of these kids for their growing up, pretty much, and that's not a good sign. I mean, you guys should have taken my word for it on how truly monstrous their mother was to them. Like, you might think your mom is bad, you know, when she yells at you or doesn't quite agree with you or harps on you and telling you to clean your room and stuff like that. Normal mom stuff. But this is a whole other ballpark, all right? Trust me. What would cause a mother to do what she's done here? I think it's just intense, like, mental illness. Um, she lost uh, her mother, which I feel started everything. So yeah, basically in this dude's own words, his mom was severely just, you know, mentally ill and deranged, like gone off the deep end. And apparently losing her own mom is what caused her to spiral out of control. And obviously, you know, that's one of the worst things to ever go through. I'm not gonna say that that's, you know, not bad. Losing a parent is something that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy but I don't care what happened to you. Look, the stuff that she did to these kids that you will find out in a bit is not excusable no matter what. Oh, and side note, this lady is now in jail for all the damage that she did in her home and to her children and family overall. But I think personally, she should have been locked up in a psych ward for the rest of her life. But thankfully, you know, our justice system is so messed up sometimes. She's actually about to get out of jail very soon. So whoopee. And we're talking about a lot of children besides you two in the mix. Oh yeah, for sure. When we're talking total, how many are we talking about? There is 12, including myself. Mm, a whole dozen kids that this woman had. Uh, why is it that the worst parents are always the ones that just don't have any control and literally have a ton of children? Like this would be bad enough if, you know, only these two were the ones that had to endure the wrath of her as a mother. But nah, it's 10 other kids as well. Basically, we're gonna go in depth on what she did later on in the video, but she would make her kids ill on purpose or injured just to care for them and make it to where they had to go to her for help. You know, there's a name for this that they will get into later. But yeah, she would legit do anything in her power to make the kids have some sort of illness. Like, it's insane to me that someone could do this or be this mentally deranged and get away with it and having 12 kids during the process of doing all of this stuff to them. Uh, she has never stopped, and I, I don't think she ever will. Uh, she should be out of prison uh, in the next few years, and I feel like uh, she's either going to move on to elders or, ch or more children. Yep, as I just said, in a couple years, she is getting out of jail and, you know, her own child believes that she is just going to go right back into the swing of things, doing the same old routine. But, you know, in his eyes, she might even switch it up and start targeting old people. You know, pretty much anyone that she can get her hands on who is helpless, that doesn't have a voice to report what's going on to them. Ugh, this lady is an absolute monster. So you might think, well, how could she make them sick? Well, one example is the girl here when she was born. Ugh, this lady would put insulin or basically diabetes medicine that she got from her husband that he needed to take and put it in with her milk when feeding her as a child. And that sent her to the emergency room multiple times. But it wasn't always illness. Like, she would get them injured in any way possible, bruh. Like, ugh. I'm trying to wrap my head around it, but it truly is mind-blowing that someone can do this to another human, let alone someone that they gave birth to, like their own child, man. How do you do that? She had me play with knives with my uh, brother. She told us to go out into, to the backyard, said they were fake, and uh, encouraged us to go dig and like swing them at each other. And... Yes, you heard that correct. <laughs> this is where the insanity starts, you guys. This lady went into the kitchen and got out her cutlery set and was like, Hey, my two little three-year-old sons, you guys should go in the backyard and play with these fake knives. Haha, <laughs> it'll be a blast. Like, what? <laughs> Bruh, that is serious level of insanity right there that I cannot even begin to grasp. This sounds like a horror movie at this point. Like, when I said in the beginning that she was a monster, I'm sure a lot of you guys heard that and were probably like, Oh, there's Grimm being a YouTuber, overhyping things again. But no, seriously, this has to be the worst parent I've ever seen on this show. How did she only go to jail for such a short time, too? Like, you know she's gonna be doing the same stuff as soon as she gets out. Y'all need to lock her up in a straitjacket or something, man. Get this woman out of society. 
There's multiple occasions of where kids thought a knife was fake and has cut somebody else. But they weren't fake at all. Oh, no. So apparently there wasn't a one-time thing either, you know, because there has been other situations, according to this guy, later on, where people actually did get hurt playing with these, quote, fake knives that their own mother encouraged them to play with. That's some Hansel and Gretel type stuff, bro. Like, who even enjoys that? You are a sick monster if you think that's okay to do. I just really don't understand any of this. I made a timeline of some of the emergency room visits, just some of Josh's visits. So now look at this timeline up on the screen, man. This isn't for the two of them either or anything. Like this is just the man Josh's history right here and not even the complete history for him either apparently. And look at just how many different times this poor kid has been in the ER for various things that she has caused. How do you go to the hospital that much and not get arrested quicker? Also, how could she possibly afford all of these medical bills? After the first one, wouldn't she be so poor that she couldn't possibly keep taking him? Like, so many questions, man. I just don't understand why she did any of this in the first place, and we don't ever get answers. It's literally just, well, oh, she's crazy, and she wanted to hurt her family. Oh, we probably won't ever understand it either. Yeah, if I was one of these doctors or nurses, I mean, I really don't know how any of that system works, but I think there's a way to report people to CPS or something, or the FBI, maybe, I don't know, when they see all of this happening to a young toddler or infant and I'm sure her other children have a record of this as well it's not like Josh is the only one that it's being taken to the ER every time this stuff happens how did this go unnoticed for so many years is my question like is that just total just moronic nurses that she's had or what because I don't get how this lasted for so long you were subjected to more than one lumbar puncture right yeah uh, I've had to my knowledge two spinal taps yeah, and these are very painful. Sheesh, so this dude had to get two spinal taps, which is where they have to take a huge needle and basically go right into your spine with it. Wow, he's suffering from it years later. Like, even though she is being punished and in jail and is having to live with the effects of what she did for all these years, it's not like he chose to be born to this monster. That's the worst part. She actively chose to do these things, but these powerless children had no say in the matter. Yikes, bro, I just wanna go up and hug my mom after this. <laughs> you guys should too. Hey, you guys made it pretty far into this video, so before we continue, I'd like to challenge you to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell in the next five seconds. And if you can do all of that fast enough, I will reward you with unlimited candy bars. You know, personally, I'd go with Almond Joys if I was given the choice, but I know there are some serious coconut haters out there which is sad. You guys need to accept how good those things are, okay? Just quit lying to yourself. Anyways, on with the rest of the video. She dragged myself and my brother out into the backyard, and she encouraged uh, him to throw bricks because she said it, it, it was fun. So a brick struck me in the back of, the, of the, the skull, and I just went to black. Dude, did these kids have no toys? She legit would just give them things that could seriously hurt each other and was like, yo, you two go in the backyard and chuck bricks at each other. <laughs> like, that's super fun, I bet. Uh, it's almost humorous to hear just because of, you know, how ridiculous it is. You wouldn't expect this to be a real thing in real life. But when you realize this all actually happened and it knocked him out to the point where he had to go to the hospital and get stitches, that makes it so much worse and sad. Like, oh, that's nuts. So now Dr. Phil is talking to the father of this family who was too afraid to show up on the show apparently. And according to him, his wife would take in the kids to the ER while he was working, so he didn't expect a thing. Still though, there's gotta be bills coming in, you know, and phone calls from the doctors following up. How could this moron be so naive? Yes, I'm going to call him a moron, by the way, because anyone who let this all go under their radar for so long, when he was their father, and one of the primary caregivers of these children, is a moron in my book. Like, you have to be an utter moron to let that go on for so long, and then come on to Dr. Phil's show acting like, wow. Oh, I was really shocked when I found out all of this was happening. I really couldn't quite believe it. Like, I do not buy that for a second, my dude. Oh my God, bro. Like, I can't even imagine the type of person to do this stuff. And if you sit here to try to analyze it, you will just go in mental circles around and around. Like, there's simply no explaining how a person can do this other than insanity. And I really do hope the best for these kids, honestly, in the rest of their lives. You know, I'm guessing that they will need a ton of counseling and therapy to get through all of this. And they have some long lasting health repercussions. And they'll need to talk to someone just to not have this stuff haunting them for the rest of their lives. 
but hopefully as a result of all this, these people will be the best parents on earth to their children if they have them, so that they will never have to experience even a shred of what they had to go through growing up. Thanks for watching, drop a like if you guys enjoyed or found this interesting, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.